at least part of the changes that occur in the sleep-wake system are due to changes occurring in the SCN. This is UCLA Newsweek. This week, UCLA Chancellor Gene Block discusses his team's newest research on the deterioration of the quality of sleep. Humans and mice, as they age, begin to encounter sleep difficulties. The quality of sleep deteriorates. This occurs even in middle age. You begin to see these effects in, in mice and in humans to some extent. Deep in the brain, at, at the base of the hypothalamus, are a cluster of cells referred to as the suprachiasmatic nuclei. These cells contain within them the molecular machinery that allows them to generate a 24-hour rhythm. So they represent a clock that helps time behavior of, of animals and of humans. These clock cells, which represent a central pacemaker, control many other clock cells throughout the body. So it's actually a clock shop, with the central clock being located in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN. As it ages, and as the signals begin to deteriorate from the SCN, the implications are uh, loss in the regular sleep-wake cycle, inability to perform shift work, uh, difficulty in adjusting to time zone changes, uh, quality of sleep. So we believe there's a relationship between changes in the SCN and changes in, in circadian behavior, 24-hour behaviors. Interestingly, even in middle-aged animals, in middle-aged mice, we begin to see a decrease in the output, the signal output, from the SCN. So if one records electrical activity, the electrical rhythms actually are decrementing as the animal ages. Our data, which was obtained with a mouse model, uh, I believe will have uh, implications for studying uh, human aging and its effects on sleep-wake cycles. Uh, rodents, as they age, also show deterioration in their sleep-wake cycle, inability to e quickly switch from one time zone to another. And we now know that these changes are associated with a decrease in the amplitude of the signals from the SCN. The current study is important because it confirms that even in middle age, uh, when behavioral deficits begin to appear, there's a decrease in the amplitude of the signals from the central clock, the SCN. So it's very important here as a confirmation that the central timer is actually changing its behavior as animals age. By finding a location, actually, in the SCN where changes are occurring during aging, that gives us now a focal point for future studies that may be aimed, for example, at reducing the impact of aging on sleep-wake cycles. Also this week, LA's Carmageddon proved to be a bust. Traffic flowed easily, even without the 405 freeway. UCLA hospitals were ready just in case. Doctors delivered more than a dozen babies and performed transplants of two livers, one lung, and a kidney. Just an average weekend at UCLA. For more on this and other stories, visit the newsroom at newsroom.ucla.edu. And follow us on Twitter at UCLA Broadcast.